Okay, let's see what we got. So anyway, thank you guys. I'm there. Alright guys, here's the other end of that John Deere snowblower. It's uh, a 5 horsepower Tecumseh, very similar to all the other ones. But this one has the separate drive gear for the rear wheels. Isn't that cool? And uh, so anyway, I want to get this carburetor off here. But I don't want to bring, the, uh, bring this into the garage right away. Because I have caught my knees and my ankles on that crazy bar. I know it's removable, but hey, I'm just going to take this carburetor off of here. I don't know if you guys are in the line for that or not. That should work. Let's just move you to the other side. And now I've, just, I've had to bring out quite a handful of tools here to get this done. So first of all, we need... Looks like a 5 16 nut driver for this. Some of them are a quarter, eh? So I brought both. <clears throat> this carburetor leaks like a sieve, but it, the engine did run. Bolt one. These should be Phillips, unless they're... Oh, they're the original. Okay, that's cool. One. No dropsies yet. Two. And then the choke arm has to come off. Good. <laughs> and then this should just pull off. And we'll just let that hang. Now we have to get the carburetor off. So we're going to disconnect the primer line. I didn't bring a knife with me. It's got some slack. Hmm, what can I use? I don't want to run back to the garage and get that. Good. That's all right. Mama. I'm gonna undo the. Oh, I have to. Do I have to take the muffler off? No. The intake manifold screws. Good. Good. And then we gotta get the uh, gas line off. It's a thin gas line. But it's old and cold. It's moving us microscopically. I shouldn't be doing this in the cold weather, eh? We can fast forward this if we have to. Okay, let's go to a different plan. Plan B, take out screws. And then there's the throttle arm too. I'm gonna put a scratch where the... There. Put a scratch where the throttle arm went through. Although I pretty much got that memorized now. Good. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Now we can try and pull that, pull that, uh, we have a little bit of pulling power for that throttle cable, or the gas line. Nope. Dad rabbit, we're almost there. I gotta go get stuff. Good. Now we got a bit, we got a few more weapons. Ooh. 
it's just the fact that it's cold out here too, eh? Here it's coming. Okay, now maybe we, now that we've got it moving. Man, I do not want to. Uh... Oh. You know what? I might get a torch and warm that up a little bit. Okay, I'm just heating it up with a lighter. It might work. It's really quite hard. Come on. Before it cools off again. It has come a little. So this is what we're getting at right here. Right there. There we go. And we have to make sure we don't lose this, which is the uh, bracket for the uh, throttle control. Good, we're done. Down to here. I've got the pressure pump hooked up to the uh, carburetor, and I can hear the I can hear the maybe here. Oh no! Anyway, let's pressure this up to see if we can get it up to no. So even with we'll just bonk it a bit. No, it's not holding any pressure. So it needs work. So I have uh, had this engine running, but today I'm going to wash the carburetor. Excuse me. I don't know if I got a good enough scratch on that. So if you just put a little mark on the hole where the where the, uh, although this one's totally homemade, I did put a mark right there where the lever came off, but that's just a chunk of wire. I have one of these. All right. Train! Machines! Sockets! And if you're lucky, you can do it. Uh, let's see, this one's a 3 8 I believe. Yeah, let's start with the intake manifold, because we're going to take this guy right apart. You hold your thumb on the other side. You can sometimes get these off with only without using two, two sets of wrenches. Yay! Other side. It's a longer one, eh? The hot side. Jeez, I didn't tear it. Now, we'll see if we can get that gasket off of there without wrecking the world, eh? These ones aren't that hard to find. I, as you can comes is very very good at universal construction. Okay, let's take this. I don't think this needs to go into the ultrasonic cleaner, but it might. Okay, let's get some ratchet wrenches. Look at any oh well, I'll bring them all. Everything but a 916. This will be a half. So there's some chew marks on there, so somebody's been in here. It's not a mouse. 
Oh. And it's, it's not an adjustable. Ooh. Jet. It's a jet. It's got two holes in it. Okay. Very, very stiff. This almost looks like a carburetor replacement, huh? This is the one I should have taken outside. This this tool. Oh. Huh. Got that one. Yeah, got them both. Okay. Now look at right there. Look how corroded that is. The steel from the pin has rusted and grown onto the aluminum. So how do I get that pin out of there? I.e. carefully, right? This carburetor I think is a replacement. Look at the ones I got from my buddy Juan. Oops. Got one, two, three, four carburetors to do today. Okay, the the uh, the needle and seeder working now. But so now you guys are going to have to look down here. What's the best way to get that off? You know there are some tools that just keep coming in handy. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get some uh, penetrating fluid. All right, let's mix this up. Arr. I got the dropsies. I got the dropsies. I got the dropsies. I got the dropsies. I usually get the dropsies early in the day till my body turns back into the athlete that I once was. Okay. So, a little brass hammer. I'm trying to get this pivot pin out of here, right? Oh yeah, see, look, and look at the, uh, the bowl seal. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah, this has been this has been diddled. That doesn't even look like a Tecumseh spring or Tecumseh needle, does it? That's the very first one I've ever seen of those that have a tip a rubber tipped in. This might be a Chinese Tecumseh. I may replace that. Look at the corrosion there, eh? How does the bowl look? Oh yes, and it's got the small hole. She looks pretty rough, man. Because it doesn't have the O-ring insertion into the needle and seat. It's pure brass with a rubber needle. Interesting. This, I don't think this needs to be washed. Unless I have room. Boy, I'm not that happy with this carburetor. Now let's put the lid on our uh, penetrating fluid, which worked on the pin. Put it back. Okay. That'll soak in the bottom there. Mmm. Won't be 
darned, eh? What about the little mini hole? It's not free. It is. Let's just do this. There we go. Good. Now, let's see what we're missing. I might not use this carburetor, but I'm going to clean it up. Okay, this should have flow through there because I blew through there. Good. And then through the front. Pretty simple, man. Uh, right angle shooter. Now the uh, primer hole should come out the bottom. Is it missing a... I don't know if they're missing the uh, welch plugs or not on these. Okay, that's almost ready to wash. This should also be a jet. I plugged the end and it should squirt out the... Uh, I know you guys can't see that much, but... Yep. So if we do this, we should see two squirts off the side. Yep. Good. I think we're ready to wash this. Backyard hacks like myself can't afford them. All right. I think we're, our, our, our machine is ready here. 59 degrees. actually at 65. No, that's me. 60. Yep. Good. Okay, let's load her up. And I'm going to do the bolts. All of the carburetor stuff. And I'm just going to brush this Now, steel wool is, is all, I, I have to say this every time, you guys. Steel wool is a great thing, but you don't want to get any of the uh, little tiny, tiny particles that are in the steel wool in any of the fuel system, right? Which is why I'm putting steel wool into the fuel system. All right, let's rinse that. Let's get that seal off the bottom, maybe. No, that's there forever. All right, let's wash our, our plastic end here. Somebody has really bent this, eh? Hey? There, 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 and then maybe It'll cover that. Let's wash the intake manifold. What the heck? We can use that to hold down the, the float. Good. So here we go. Perfect. Start. Cleaning switch. Lovely. Now we can turn off the heater because the heater runs while it's running. You learn this kind of stuff the hard way. Should we stick this in there? Why not? Good. 20 minutes. Thanks.
All right, guys. I've got. I'm just assembling the first Tecumseh clone carburetor, and the rubber tip. I have just put a tiny bit of valve grinding compound on the rubber tip with a piece of 1,000 sandpaper, and I'm just going to squeeze the tip and rotate it a little bit. Good. And then. Take that out. Let's see. Splash it in gas. Blow it off. Get the dry off. And then we're going to do the same thing with the seat. With this tiny, tiny Q-tip. I'm going to blow it off with air first, blow it out, and then spray it with carb spray. Put a little gas on it, and we'll see if we have any improvement on the seal. I got five pounds, which is fair. Don't get it mixed up. I'm doing three or four carburetors at a time today, guys. Let's just put that lid on there. And make sure tap it down. Never know when we'll be back. Okay, I'll be right back. i got to find a few things. It's embarrassing. I just used the uh, Ken Small Engines Mighty Back. And we're still, we're still not getting more than five. I get to five and a half and it falls back to five. That's okay. This carb's clean. Let's take this valve uh, idle jet. We'll screw that in. Oh, by the way, you guys, I've lost my little blue funnel for changing oil. How do you lose that? Mrs. P and I think it might have ended up in the uh, plastic recycle. Okay, let's pop that guy on there like that. The seal's still on there. And that carb's done. Alright, this is the carburetor from the little John Deere tractor that I pulled off. Or, John Deere snowblower. So we've got, we've got this ugly thing left. Let me find the right one. I think I can. Hey, hey Ralphie boy! Do you think this is it? Oh yeah. So let's just leave the both of them in there. I'll put this carburetor in there. The bolts are here. And it's ready to mount. Before I fire this up, there's a lot of work to be done on said snowblower, right?